Good evening, everyone. Phil here, and welcome to the Daily Wrap for Thursday, the 6th of January, 2022. So, today was a really unique day. Uh, first of all, the first half of the stream, um, excuse me, the first half of the stream, the first half of the day consisted of the pre-stream podcast where I very thoroughly covered my day off yesterday and talked about some various pieces of gaming news and the like. It's a pretty good one, so I recommend that you check out the pre-stream podcast if you did not see it live this morning. Uh, it's, it's on demand here on DSP Gaming. And the first stream was GTA 3 Definitive Edition, where we made lots of progress. Now, what I'm finding is the game definitely made certain missions way easier, and in other cases, didn't make certain missions easier at all. In particular, there's one or two very tricky missions where you had to drive around and break the uh, coffee stands that are actually supposed to be like little stands selling drugs to people. Uh, and a few other missions, like the SAM surface to air missile mission, they're still pretty annoying. Certainly not as annoying, I feel, as originally, but they're still pretty darn annoying overall. Um, we made great progress, but I knew that there was more content to do. I didn't want to just rush through and not thoroughly finish it. So what I ended up doing is I did a little bit of extra gameplay doing the phone missions. These are optional missions you don't have to complete, but it's some of the more challenging stuff. In fact, my last playthrough of Grand Theft Auto 3, one of the most infamous things that happened was that laughing fit of the enemies coming after you, and they're like, special delivery, <laughs> and they come after you. We didn't do that yet. And I was like, dude, if I beat the game, because I actually unlocked the final mission of the game, I think. And I was like, if we're doing that mission, or we didn't do that mission, like, how did I miss it? And people were like, oh, because you didn't do all the side content this time around like you did last time. So, by the end of today's GTA 3 Definitive Edition stream, the final mission was unlocked. I think there's a final Donald Love mission as well, or like the epilogue to his plot line. And the phone missions in the Central Island, it's the green phone missions, that's what's left. So I'm thinking we can do a night stream at some point to actually finish it up. I don't think that we really need a main stream to finish up GTA 3 at this point. I'll probably beat it on a night stream. So coming up this week, I'll let you know. Not, I don't know when it'll be yet. There will be a night stream to end GTA 3, okay? Then tonight's late stream was very unique. We went onto Microsoft Xbox Ultimate Game Pass on the Xbox Live Store, whatever the hell it's called, on my Xbox Series X. And we looked at all the games under Game Pass that basically had been added since the summer uh, August of 2021, the last time that we had actually done anything on there, there was a lot of new games, like a lot of new games that had been added. And we went through there. It took two hours to get through it all. We added something like 10, 15 games for me to check out. The stream went really well. Everyone supported it and actually liked it. They felt that it was chill to just kind of hang out with me and talk about these games rather than see me actually play a game for once. And by the end of the night, we had determined that what I'll probably do is since it looks like in the next one to two weeks I'll have some more time on my streams because right now the main games I'm playing are Skyrim and Resident Evil 4, okay? We're going to have maybe one or two streams a week freed up for a bit until basically Pokemon kind of comes out later on this month. Um, maybe what I'll do is do a Game Pass day where the night before we pick three games, I download them ahead of time, and then the next day I play each of those games for one hour to actually see if any of them are any good. Okay, so it's a very strong possibility we'll be doing that soon, and I'll let you know if and when we actually work that in. There may even be a Game Pass day coming up this very week before the end of my streaming week. Okay, so it went really well. I had a great time. Thank you to everyone who attended that late night stream of Game Pass Exploration, and now we have a good variety of stuff that I'm going to be checking out likely in the near future. All right, now tomorrow we go back to regularly scheduled full gameplay days. It's the continuation of Resident Evil 4 on the first stream. And then my weekly late night Street Fighter session on the late stream. So a good variety of stuff tomorrow. I'm very much looking forward to tomorrow's streams. Thank you guys very much. Really great return day coming back from my break. And I will see you all tomorrow for another full day of fun gameplay streaming. Sound good? Thanks. See you then. Peace out.